Okay, so after his insight, uh, export configuration, next time is inside or out. So, ganoon pa rin yung process na papakita ko pa rin sa inyo kung paano ako mag, mano-mano maglagay ng information sa, um, sa, ito, sa spreadsheet na ibibigyan ni client. Uh, tapos, uh, i-compare ko kung, uh, kung same ba yung results na ibibigay uh, during export, pag-export ng file from Amazon to um, spreadsheet. Okay, so same information pa rin, same mixing pa rin yung ginamit ko kanina. First is the date, hindi talaga makapala yung date. Uh, lagay natin, 9-6. We aim, image, uh, right click mo lang to. Yun, pwede ka mag-save us. Yan. Yan. Ito na mag-load. Yan. Copy image, then paste natin dyan. Ayun natin yung best. May complete tong information na hindihin ito sa sheet. Yan. Yan, product name. Next is product name or product title. Lang, then we'll close, close mo natin yung SAS. Okay. Yun, product name. Yun, magayon natin. Yung ASIN. Amazon URL. Asin mo na natin, ito yung supplier URL. Cost price is um, uh, 90. Same pa din kanina, 90. Yun, lagay natin 90. Yan. 90. Sell price is... 159.95. The profit is 32.57. The ROI is 36%. Ayan, move lang natin. Uh, sales rank. Ito yung sales rank. Uh, Ayan natin yung current sales rank. So, may mahanap yung current sales rank. Wala dito. So, dito lang gamit lang tayo ng kipa. Kasi, uh, walang seller na hindi ko magamit ng kipa. Except siguro kung bagwan pa. Hindi alam ko ano yung kipa. So, tingnan natin dito sa product details. Kung ano yung uh, ano yun eh? Uh, current sales rank. Okay. Is 29,504. Uh, sales rank. Ito. Okay. Average 90 days. Alam. Yun. Average 90 days. 3,199. 9. Then category. Ano yung category nito? Uh, sports and outdoor. Ayan, copy natin. And yun, kompleto na tayo. Ito yung mga information na ibibigay kung mano-mano mo yung um, supply natin ma-automatic. So, first is uh, punta ka lang sa seller app, then go to sheets, then click new sheet. Okay, meron na kami mga existing na gagamit. So, click mo lang yung new sheet. Ayan. Wait lang. Ayan. So, meron na siyang ready. So, ito yung uh, default niya. Tayo natin. Magkapareho lang. So, date. Story. Date. Image. Okay. Pareho. Product name. Okay. Pareho. Empty. Asin. Okay. Amazon URL. Tapos empty. Tapos source. Okay. Oh, pareho lang lahat. Source. Source. Uh, price. Sell price. Profit. Or why. Sales rank. Uh, 90 day sales rank. Okay. Okay. So, yung ginamit lang pala ng client ko is yung uh, default. Pero ito, for example, walang magkapare, magkaiba, is click mo lang to, drop down mo lang yun, kung ano yung hihingi ni client. Ito na dito lang. Okay? So, yung product name naman, dito sa C naman, column C, or column D kung meron, yan, dito lahat, E, and so on and so forth. So, ganun lang. Then, hit save. Okay? Now, tayo natin mag-export. So, dito 90, click natin itong Chris by Sheet. So, wait lang natin mag-load yan. Actually, allow din, meron dito feature na kung saan pwede mong ilagay yung supplier link. So, uh, ayun, dito mo isave mo lang yung supplier link dito. Taka. Sorry, dito. Ayan. Ilagay mo lang yung source. Paste mo lang yung source. Ayan. Sorry. Saan yun? Paste mo lang yung source. Ayan, hit save. Uh, then hit save. Sorry. Hit save. Ayan. So, once na-save mo, then click mo itong buy sheet. Ayan. Wait natin. Mag-load. Then mag-check. Ayan. 
So, ito yung first natin na kanina walang supplier. Ito naman yung pangalawan na ilagay ko yung supply. Yun. So, halos magkapareho lang. Kaso maliit yung picture dito. Kasi ito man ang ano ko yung ginawa. Pero yung mga information is magkapareho ang pareho lang talaga. So, yun yung uh, nagagawa ng export configuration. Mas mapagbibigis yung trabaho natin. 